Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. Period pain is part of the game, but it doesn't have to be as painful, thanks to this little device called the Ovira. This device uses electromagnetic waves to interrupt your pain receptors so you don't have to feel the brunt of your cramping pain. I tried this out on my last period, and today I'm going to share with you guys my experience. Make sure to follow me on my other socials here, and without further ado, let's get started. When you first get the box, it looks like this. This really cute orange packaging. It has a little bit of the design of the Ovira on the back as well. Inside this box, we have the Ovira two love handle pads, one USB charging cable, one cable, the manual, and the little pouch. This is what the inside looks like and this is where your Ovira will sit. And then of course it has a lot of that other information down here which I've already taken out. You can also purchase additional little sticky pads for the love handles. I think that is such a cute name. These are the sticky pads that actually make it stick to your body. Um, one thing I would mention when wearing this, go ahead and clean off your body with a baby wipe or some sort of alcohol swab. Why was that so hard to say? <laughs> Some alcohol swab to make sure that your body doesn't have any moisture on it because these will not stick if you do. Comes in a little plastic bag like this with some orange film and these are like clear the actual sticky piece is clear on the inside the orange stuff is just like the color of the sheets so you can peel one of these off and attach it to your love handles to replace the actual sticky bit it does come with a money back guarantee i think it's 90 days i'll put it on the screen if i find it on the website just if you try it out and you don't really find it works for you you can definitely send it back to get a full refund which i think is pretty cool this is what the device looks like kind of looks like an egg shape almost like your ovary ovira ovary kind of cute right has like an on button and then a plus and minus side to bring it up and bring the frequency down then it has a little clip on the back so you can clip it on your pants or on your bra and that makes everything super nice and handy comes with this little plate here which looks like this and it's just a way to store your little sticky pies so that they don't get dirty all the time so that's really cute you just stick it on and it keeps them clean and away from the fuzzies has a decent size cord so you're supposed to stick this on your body around 10 inches apart so that would be right here so one right here and the other right here and then this hooks in your pants and you're good to go of course if you put it on your bra it kind of hides it and then it's like that and it's flat against your stomach. So I think that's the best way to wear it on your bra. When you want to store it or carry it with you on the go, it has this little pouch and everything fits nicely and securely in this little pouch. And then of course it comes with a charging cord as well. I would say this is around three feet or something, three feet in terms of the cable. So this is what the cable looks like, but the back is a big USB. So you can just get your adapter I have so many of these and just stick it on. And if you really wanted to carry it with you, all of this fits nicely in the pouch as well. Let's rewind to yesterday and see how I felt. Okay, so today is the first in my period and honestly, I'm not that excited for this, but it's the second day that I'm not excited for. The first day is like a precursor. So anyways, I have my cup of tea. I have my heat pack. Let's get my Ovira. I don't like being in pain, okay? And I don't think anyone does. I don't think anyone would. I don't want to do this anymore. I think of this every single day. I'm just like, I didn't sign up for this subscription. Honestly, I can sit here and say that the period is the most beautiful, amazing process when you're one with the earth. And yes, a lot of that is true, but it also does hurt like a lot and I would love for society and all of us to stop acting like it's this beautiful wonderful painless experience because the because the entirety of getting your period being pregnant giving birth going through postpartum menopause it's not really such an enjoyable experience for a lot of women for some people it may be and they don't really feel the brunt of all these different painless symptoms and different pains and everything like that but for the majority of people it's really not such a fun time I'm a very optimistic, kind-hearted person, but when I'm on my period, I get moody, I get snappy, I get irritable, I get pain, I get muscle cramps, I get uh, tenderness in my chest, I get headaches, I get back pain, I get a lot of pain, lots of cramps, and 
I don't really necessarily want to be around people. I often end up taking the first two days off of work when I start my period because I cannot mentally, physically, emotionally function as a human being. It, it, it ends up being somewhat debilitating. And as bad as mine is, I know that for some women, it's even, even 10 times worse. So you press and hold the middle button to turn it on. And then you press the up. Ooh. Okay, so feel the pulse. This one's too high. Okay. That actually feels a lot better. I can still obviously feel that I'm on my period and I still feel slightly uncomfortable, but there's no sharp pain if I can describe it that way. Like I still feel sick, I still feel a little nauseous, but the sharp pain that's in my stomach. I don't really feel that anymore. Instead, it's replaced by just like a massage in a sense. I did mention that I use this device prior to using it during my period on my back, on my shoulders. And so when I put it on the stomach, it was not as sticky as it has been before. So I actually just use this heat pack, which is like a portable one with like a little belt. And I put that around my waist. And when I put that on, I had no issues. Even after this cooled down and I took it off, it was still sticking to my stomach. So based on that, I would say maybe every two to three, judging on how sticky it is on you. So judging from that, I would say maybe every two to three periods, it would be right to change the sticky pad just to make sure the adhesive is staying on your body. I also ended up wearing this for more than eight hours. It's supposed to last for 12 hours a day. And so I wore it from eight in the morning to four when I finished work and I had no issues with it. What I would recommend if you are going to be going outside of the house and you're wearing this, if you're wearing a bra, I barely ever wear a bra, but if you are, clip the Ovira to the bottom of your bra, like right here in the middle, and then stick it on you. That way it's flush against your skin because if you don't and you hook it on your pants, there'll be like this random wire just hanging out and you can start like hitting it on things. I don't know, it's just really uncomfortable if you do that. Um, most of the time you'd probably be wearing a full shirt anyways, but it's just to lessen the amount of cord that's kind of everywhere. It feels a lot more comfortable that way. The device itself has 40 levels of intensity, so you can really customize it to how strong your period pain is. Mine usually stays around a level four or level five. I don't generally like to go higher than that unless I feel a really big pain kicker. Somehow this makes sense to me, but I always try not to use too many intense like pain relievers, whether that be pills or electromagnetic waves, because I want to make sure that my personal pain tolerance is still pretty high. I don't know if that really makes a difference, but in my head it makes sense. <laughs> so I usually keep this at about a level five or six. And then as my periods get more intense, like sometimes you'll have like a really strong cramp, then I will bring it up. Once that cramp is gone, I bring it back down. That's how I like to do it. But there's 40 levels for you to choose from to see how intense you need it to be. I can handle more intensity when it comes to my shoulders and my back. On my stomach, when I put it up too high, I actually kind of felt the pulsations in my thigh, which was kind of odd. And I also felt them in my abs. That was weird too. You will know what is the right intensity for you because when it's too high, I can actually feel it in my legs all the way down to my toes, like my thighs will be pulsating for some reason. Also, my abs will be pulsating. So just choose what is best for you. I like to keep it down because I don't want that sensation. Beyond that, it kind of faded into the background and it wasn't like something I was aware of all day that I had this pulsating going through my stomach. Now there are a plethora of symptoms that you can feel throughout your cycle, not just on your period. That's tenderness in your breasts, uh, back pain, uh, constipation, nausea, insomnia, moodiness, uh, just there's so many others. So I've been reading a lot of books. So I will leave links to these books down below in case you were looking for more information as well. But what I learned from these books is that all of these PMS symptoms, it is not normal to be debilitated during your period or during your cycle. Often these pain symptoms are dismissed because they are female problems. What it actually means is that there is some sort of irregularity, whether that be a hormonal imbalance or something going on in your body that needs to be attended to. For some reason, I always thought that our periods are just, our body hates us and we just need to endure this pain for some reason. But honestly, that's not the truth. 
It truly is, and it doesn't have to be painful, and it shouldn't be painful. It affects your mood, your motivation, it affects how you exercise, it affects every single aspect of your life. And the more that we know about it, is the more that we can integrate this into our lives and into society, and make society a better place that women can function in at our top performing potential, just like men do. That was a little rant, but the point is, this is not gonna get rid of all of your PMS symptoms, but it will help to subside some of your cramping pain and muscle pain. For someone like myself who doesn't really like messing with my body in terms of taking medication if i can avoid it i don't take birth control i try not to take ibuprofen as little as possible i don't even like regular medicine so for something like this being a non-invasive method of managing your pain i think this is genius it is beautiful and i wonder where this has been my entire life now, with that being said it's not going to get rid of your period you are still going to feel like you're on your period if you feel nauseous it doesn't help with nausea what it's going to help is with the muscle pain and the cramping. And if that's what you are looking for, some sort of relief in that front, I would say that this is a great investment. I'm gonna be continuing to use it because I did find it very, very helpful for my period. Um, I would definitely recommend trying this if it is something that you're interested in. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried Ovira. I would love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, fabulous, and I'll see you, lovely ladies and gents, in the next one. Bye.